Welcome again to the cult classic DVD review. We're sitting here in our own private cinema at the Blue Room Cinebar. With me is the ever effervescent Alistair Murray. You want some? Huh? <laughs> Maybe. Well, know. if you didn't get it from that line, then you're not a true Evil Dead groupie. Today we're having a look at the third in the trilogy, crazily being called Evil Dead 3, which was eventually changed to Army of Darkness by Universal to attract a much larger audience. Now the film was written by Sam and Ivan Rami and it was directed by Sam in 1993 and he went on to direct that steaming pile of feces that we know as Spider-Man. Piece of shit! It stars Bruce Campbell. The greatest B-grade actor Thank you, Tony, ever. As Ash. And the story starts with the second Evil Dead leaves off. Ash finds the fabled Necronomicon, translation, Book, Book of the Dead. And after making the classic horror movie blunder by reading the demon incantation out aloud, this starts a chain reaction which leads Ash to chop his hand off and attach a chainsaw, hack up and decapitate his girlfriend, Fair enough. fight numerous evil demons, get sucked back in time, say circa 1300 AD, Sounds about right. and enslaved by Arthur and his knights. Ash, armed only with his trusty chainsaw and a sawn off 12 gauge, has to find the Necronomicon. He fights an army of deadites and woo a chick called Sheila, all whilst trying to find his way back to present time. Now, if that sounds a little far fetched, Maybe. it's because it is. If you're going into this movie hunting for a compelling protagonist or a solid plot structure, then you're an idiot. It's called Evil Dead 3. And here's a taste of its lunacy. As you've just seen, the special effects in this film are second to none. Amazing. The geysers of blood, the crappy overlay shots, and the final fight scene is truly a piece of film history. Oh, very MacGyver-esque. I mean, there's some high-tech stop-motion skeletons in play here, you know, strapped to horses. Attached to people in deadite costumes at various stages of decomposition. And sometimes they just stick him in the ground, let a car plough into him, add a bit of voiceover, and whammo, they're alive! Lord of the Rings? Eat your heart out. But there is one man, one man oh, that man. makes up for all this beef jerk. Oh, the Ash Factor. <laughs> He's a comic book character walk to life. No one in the world can match his array of contorted facials. In my professional opinion, he's an absolute genius. Champagne. Champagne. What exactly are you a professional of, Alistair? Shut up, Tony. I concur with Evil Ash over here. Any guy that can get a chick by the lines, first you want to kill me, then you want to kiss me, blow, is all right in my books. Here's a bit of a collage of what you can expect from this guy. Who the hell are you? Name's Ash. Housewares. Hey, uh, what's that you got on your face? Huh? Blah, blah, blah. See how that works? Keep your damn filthy bones out of my mouth. Groovy. Hail to the king, baby. Yo, she bitch. Let's go. Well, that's just what we call pillow talk, baby. Okay, little fella. How about some hot chocolate, huh? <laughs> Haunting. Haunting performance. Yeah, I don't know where his Oscar is either, Tone. Campbell pretty much did a Mark Hamill, a.k.a. Luke Skywalker, and after the trilogy was finished, he disappeared off the face of the Earth. Mm, I think he just wanted to end up on top. And he did indeed. I dug this movie, and I still dig it. I give it 24 out of the 27 shells that Ash shoots out of his double barrel shotgun, which he only reloads twice, and his other hand's a chainsaw. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Campbell makes it for me. He's a walking anachronism. I give it 21 out of 27 shells from the same shotgun. If you're up for a fun movie, then check this one out. It won't disappoint. Another enthralling critique, Alistair. Oh, well, thank you, Tony. And remember, kids, shop smart. Shop S-smart. You got that? <laughs>